used to, I mean, you used to, you know, slide into people's comments. And, oh, I, was, I still slide into yeah. DM now. I mean, so, so that's not something, like, you're still like, hey, listen, it's just who I am, it's what I'm going to do, I, I enjoy doing it. Yeah, every once in a while, every once in a while, it just feels good to, to put things in perspective with some people that are hating on you. You still feel like I'm way above, like I'm, I've accomplished so much, I'm way above. I never feel like I'm way above anybody. Yeah. No, no, I've been through too much, man. I mean, just this summer I was, I was super depressed. Though, you know, my mom had died and stuff like that. It was, it, it brought me to the ground, it brought me to my knees, you know what I mean? So, and, you know, growing up with absolutely nothing and, and just, you know, I'm very, I'm 100% I'm John, Jonathan Jones, that, that came out a long time ago. I have some success and fame, but that comes and goes, man. That don't make, that don't make you anything, really. Do you feel great your story then? I mean, like, you've been through a lot. You, it's hard times. and put you through a lot. I embrace it. It made you what you are. Though. Yeah, I embrace it because um, because it's the only story I know. And I, if I don't embrace myself and what I'm going through, then you can't. You know, if you don't embrace it, first of all, you can never get, get to a point where you love yourself. But if you don't love yourself, you're just poison to be around. You know what I mean? So I always, I always try to smile and reflect my best energy um, because, because I owe it to myself. And, that, and that's, that's the best we can do in life. When did that happen? It's been a process. You know, it's been a process. Just really learning to accept yourself. You know, it's and realizing that at the end of the day, everyone has piece of shit qualities. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just, just, a lot of people know about mine. You know, what, so. what are yours? And your own words, <laughs> what are yours? My piece of shit qualities? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, bro. Um, I think, I think my main thing was that originally just liking party too much, you know, being, being an idiot behind the wheel. I, I think that's been my, one of my worst downfalls, you know. If you, if you think about some of the trouble I've got into, it's not like I've ever robbed anybody or beat up somebody or done anything crazy like that or, or used my, you know, it's been it's been like drinking and driving, honestly. And I've eliminated that. I have a, uh, a full-time uh, security guard on the weekends when I tend to go out the most. And I've just taken that out of the equation, continue to do it. Yeah, you Yeah, you know. So. John, you said you're, you're over the peak. I you're guess over that's a little old me, huh? <laughs> <laughs> John, you said you're over the peak around stuff, but what about press conferences when people make like that's cocaine good. jokes and stuff like cocaine that? Cocaine jokes? Yeah. I mean, it happens, man. At the end of the day, it happens, man. I, I was young, man. You, you give a kid several million dollars and, and a Bentley and start meeting all types of successful people and party sure. people. And, I got it. And I realized that in a certain certain culture is a lot more normal than what people may realize. And uh, it happened, you know. It was never a cocaine addict, but it happened, you know. And I'm sure a few of you guys holding these microphones have taken this in order too. So, shit happens, man. At the end of the day, you can't beat yourself up. You know, the, the crappiest thing about it is that my kids are going to know about it one day, and I'll have to explain that to them. But uh, for anybody else, it's like, you all got your demons. You guys are watching Pornhub and doing whatever the hell you guys are doing at home, so I'm not letting nobody judge me too hard. John, on the, on the top of Jason Green.